Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Creamsicle is in there courting the big uh, female death adder. Please don't produce 32 babies again. It was very difficult finding homes for all 32 of those. Well, you never can tell. It may be easier or more difficult this time. But uh, that's what uh, the male uh, named Creamsicle is, is up to. They produced some really very beautiful babies the last time, so hopefully they do it again. So now that I come over here, he's decided to stop his uh, male courting. I guess he doesn't like to be watched. Hi there. This is another one of my male holdbacks. Hi, hi Elvis. Come on, come on. I know that's a little tough on your on your neck. There you go. Just hang out there for a second. Again, another big pile of poop to clean. Come on in. Hello. Are you videoing? Uh, I am. It's it's running up there. Uh, for the most part, you would be out of view. Uh, only your incessant. Babbling will be yes, uh, on the yapping. Record. You're yeah. yapping. That was the word. Uh, you know, people, if you don't like what you hear or see, just don't even bother watching the videos rather than being nasty and, uh, uh, you know, it's, that's the bottom line. If you don't like it, turn it the hell off. Uh, Lori and I don't really care. If you're going to be negative, if you're going to be an asshole, just don't bother. Because I'll end up blocking you eventually anyway. You have someone watching over your shoulder. Yes, yeah, he's... Like interest. He, Elvis is watching me handle the fat sausages once again. <laughs> I want some of these fat sausages, Mr. Viper Keeper. Huh? Huh? Can I take your picture? Uh, yeah, you're a nice looking boy too. Uh, you're a nice looking boy. Yes, notice I am taking great care in my distance uh, from the creature because we don't... Uh, literally, he could stand on his tail and go that high or even higher if they really wanted to. They're, they really defy gravity. Yes, you can look for that picture that Wolfgang Worcester took of the uh, puff adder he, who decided well, to take flight. Yes, yes, he was airborne. So, uh, I may call them fat slugs, but they really uh, can defy physics. I know, I know, I saw that. I know, I know. Hi, you want to head bob with me, huh? Huh? You're taking to ex exception of me uh, hooking you, huh? Okay, there you go. You can go back in here. Yeah, you can go back in there now, see? No, I'm not coming with food. Come on, don't get, don't get testy. Ooh, you are testy. I always count on a puff adder to be testy. Come on. Well, you'd be a wet noodle. Well, of course. You certainly look like you're going to be a wet noodle. All right, let's go. Relax. You want to grab his water dish? All right. Here's our puff adder. Here's our puff adder cage. And then glass. Thank you. Bloody hell. That work. 
working either. What the frick? So it must mean this glass goes over here. Excuse me. Don't puff adders to the forehead, please. <laughs> I do know somebody who was bagging a black mamba and bent over and got tapped right on the top of his head. That was pretty dumb. Oh, man. There you go. Different smell, but your water dish and your hut is all there in the same place even. So, uh, you can happily uh, cruise around there and smell Miss TikTok scent. Um, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Can I make some buffoons? <laughs> hmm? I want to make buffoons, Mr. Viper Keeper. Put me in with TikTok. She might eat you, dude. You're too small. <laughs> <laughs> you're just a little weenie right yeah. now. Uh, yeah, just wait until you're a bigger weenie. But we won't make buffoons anyway. Right, Miss Green? We don't do those sort of hybrid things, do we? Huh? We don't do that. What? Where's the rat? Where's the rat? Miss Green loves to eat. She's, She's always begging. Always begging. All right, dude, you're okay. Just relax. Here's a very crazy and energetic uh, Sandy. The Mr. Brown Apprentice. There you go. She's very shy, though. Just like Mr. Brown. Yep, here comes Sandy. There we go. Sandy has just reached the point where she realizes that I'm not a threat, and but I actually bring food. So she sort of uh, comes up to the window now and is uh, not quite as secretive as she used to be. You know, she's in her growth phase now and, uh, and really looking to chow down. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, look at her. She's something. Yeah, I moved these guys to this cage. It, uh, pretty nice. And he's just hanging out at the front of it looking angry at me. It's like, I'm gonna get you, Mr. Viper Keeper. Okay, she was quite alluring just a minute ago. Let's see if we can get her tail flipping. Without her lunging for the food. Of course, now that I got the camera, she's not going to lure. Darn it. Sometimes I wish I had, was, I had the camera running at all times because uh, you miss these little tidbits. Let me see you leaning that way. All right. I've got other fish to fry. I can't play with you. Here's the very cute little female zebra spitter.
Hi. Yeah, it's okay. You're okay. Go ahead and eat. I think she's a little weirded out by the camera, so we're just going to let her eat. Now this is what I sort of got to go to to feed these guys. Sort of have to dis really piss them off and disturb them. Come on. You're not going to eat that? You want another? Once you get them to eat one, generally speaking, you can get them to eat two. There you go, and this guy's out here on this. Sorry for the terribly uh, shaky video, but... This guy uh, sort of needs to swallow a little bit more before I can offer it. Maybe the big female is sort of ready. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, are you getting ready to bite me? Just swallow the damn thing and you can try to bite me later. Are you going to eat? Or are you going to be difficult, huh? Huh? You're going to be difficult. I just know that, huh? What do I got here? Huh? I know. I know. This is no fun. Eh? I don't like doing this. It's dangerous and it's just no fun. Uh, I've left you alone because you've been in the process of shedding, but now it's time to eat. It's time to eat. Are you going to spit that out? You are going to spit that out. You are just not a very good feeder. Hold still. No biting. You're just not a very good feeder. Come on, take your noodle down there. What are you doing? How you doing? How you doing, huh? Well, you're in here, that must mean that there's food, huh? Hi, bud. Yeah, I'm all covered with food, huh? I don't know if you... I don't know if you like rough scaled snakes, huh? But uh, Pogo definitely has rough scales. You operate at this temperature? You feel really cool to the touch, huh? I know, I see you. I see you. Come on, dude. Elvis has been sunning all morning uh, in his uh, windowsill there, and uh, no, don't. Don't fixate on me. Come on. No, they're your favorite shoes. Here, you want that? Okay. 
There you go. Okay, okay, come on. Easy, easy, easy. Come on. There you go. I want you back in your cage to eat. Go ahead. Good boy. Go ahead. No one's going to bother you. Believe me, I don't enjoy bothering you when you're eating. Because you try to kill me all the time. There you go. Enjoy your uh, dinner. I've been promising Elvis some Tucker. Because he's been watching <laughs> various other tasty treats move about the room that we were working with. And he was like, hey, I'll take that one. So he got really upset, and now he's going back in his hut. And then earlier in the day, he wanted to come out and play, but I didn't have time. Hey, bud. I told you I'd bring you something. Hi. Would you like a rat? Huh? No, don't bite the forceps to feed you. There you go. Come on over. He's, he's occupied now, and he's not going to... will not let go of that rat. You can you can tug and pull the rat in half. He's not letting go. Right? Huh? You happy now? Only marginally. You're such a toad. You took too long. <laughs> Speaking of bad plates. Speaking of Miss Mooch and I would be a bad bite. This is a Brazilian lance head, a quite a large one. <laughs> is that a goiter or is that you just uh, chubby, huh? Huh? Yeah. You can eat your rat. That's a good five foot lance head uh, with very potent venom uh, and very, very fast and fluid in her movements, even though I call her Mooj and I because she's a cow. Still, she's quite fast as you saw her shooting out of her uh, log uh, to come visit me at the doorway here. Miss Lacourus, as in Bothrop's Lacourus. <laughs> is a little pissed off now that I've disturbed her, uh, but she's just finishing up a shed. We'll see if she continues now that I interrupted her. She's down to, oh, probably close to the anal scoop. Now, since I obtained this pair, they've been nothing but problems, and I'm hopefully, finally, we got them back on track where they're shedding okay and they're feeding okay and I think the feeding problem was related to shedding uh, they won't necessarily drink from the water bowl uh, so even if you spray them down they get a bit dehydrated and that uh, that basically dictates the outcome. Well, that bush is a mobile bush, sweetheart. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Let's see if I can apply some more resistance. We'll pass the anal scoot down to the little, uh, little bit of the tail. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. You almost got it. You almost got it. Gotta watch her a little bit because no question she'll uh she's got a an incredible feeding response. Come on. Thank you. That's nicely done. 
Now let's extract this whole thing and uh, hang up the shed and let it dry and all that good stuff. Well, I'm going to type in. I know, I see you're excited, huh? That's not so good. It's actually pretty dangerous for me, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa, that quick. You're done. Uh, uh, uh. Just settle down and eat that. Hi, Mr. Mujanai. Watch your nose. Ah. No light tap for that one. Here we have a nice female rhino viper who generally likes to, uh, to feed on rodents. I see movement. <laughs> as long as the movement is not towards me. Here, I'll make it easy for you. Would you like that? No? You want to go from the other side, baby? I don't like getting rat juice in, uh, in your water dish. There you go. Well, you're going to do that anyway. <laughs> 